What is up everyone? Welcome back to another episode on Eastside Shenanigans channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Tahoe. Uh, we're going to be talking about how we, uh, what we did to body drop this. We're going to be talking about frame rails and the rear monster notch. Uh, before we get to this guys, we got some winners. We got some winners for the giveaway. T-shirt, koozie, and some stickers. Now the winners are from the YouTube uh, platform, George M. George M, contact me. Uh, we'll get it together and uh, send you your stuff. Also, uh, the Instagram side of it, Chris underscore SS. I'm guessing you got a uh, Camaro there. Uh, get with me so we can get your, uh, your merch delivered to you, sizing, and all that good stuff. If you want to see what the shirt looks like, guys, little you turn around. Bam! East Side Shenanigans right there. This is our very first shirt, guys. Um, they will probably will be available uh, to be bought here pretty soon. Not quite yet. We still got some stuff uh, that we're kind of figuring out with other shirts and, and the detail on it and stuff like that. So this is just the very first shirt, uh, kind of our, our practice shirt, so I guess if you want to call it, and uh, go from there. So George M and Chris underscore SS, give me a holler. Let's get your stuff delivered to you guys. And uh, when y'all get them, take a picture, post it up. We really appreciate it. Now, let's get to this. Okay, everyone. We are going to explain everything we did to body drop this Tahoe from uh, cross members to the front uh, suspension and also the monster notch in the rear, uh, centering everything and uh, beginning with that. So the very first thing that we had to figure out was we had to start with the middle cross member. So everything started with this middle cross member right here. This is kind of the middle of the vehicle and this is where, um, actually if you see the lower bar that's on it, that's actually the ground. And then we tack that on top of it. Uh, we put the two link on here to get the dimensions of that. If you notice here, we don't have a lot of room between the caliber and the actual diff itself. So the frame rail has to go here and the two link bars. What do you think, Louie? You want to give them a quick little explanation? Basically to start out, we uh, put the rear end up in here, centered it side to side, front to back, got it centered in the wheel openings. Uh, after that, we put the, the two link bar on there to give us a distance to figure out where the center cross member goes. Once we figured out where the center cross member goes, we tacked it all in place and we start building from there. Uh, from there, you can't hardly see it, but we'll get underneath the truck and see. But we actually did some work on it that wasn't videoed. We actually have the middle frame rails in there. We well, we raised the front cross member to give it the body drop. The front cross member is raised up inside the truck two and a half inches straight up. That makes the bottom of the front center cross member level with the ground too. So everything is at ground level, so when it sits on the ground, the body will sit straight. Uh, after that, we tied the front frame rail where we cut it off at the firewall. We tied it into the rear cross member. And we'll uh, be under there showing you in just a second. And then, basically, after we built the center rails in the front, you have to cut this and lower this down two inches so you can get the core support down so it levels out with the rest of the truck. So you're basically lowering the front end of the truck, you're body dropping it, so this is your body mount. So it will all be sunk down, what's that, two inches? Two and a half inches. Okay, two and a half Basically inches. you raised the front up two and a half inches and you had to lower this back down to make it back level so the fenders can all bolt up the same. So here, he just cut it straight off, lowered it in the right dimensions and we're gonna be boxing that in and welding that all together. Uh, once the frame gets on, out, out from underneath the body. All right. You want to get underneath this thing? Yeah. All right, let's get underneath, guys. Okay, everyone, we are underneath the Tahoe right now. Let's show you all what steps we did underneath to get this done. All right, basically, these rails right here, all these rails down here, are basically simulate the ground level. So... This is level with the bottom of the truck, level with the ground. 
Everything else, as long as we build it above it, it can lay flat on the ground. So we put these bars in, square everything, level it, so we can build on top of it to make sure everything is tucked up inside the truck. Like I say, we raise the front end up two and a half inches straight up. After we raise it up, right here, we take these rails and we build these rails from the rear cross member and they go inside the stock frame up into here. So what he did guys, he actually cut this all the way open at a diagonal right here and open the top up to allow this rail to slide in here yeah and once it's welded in there everything's squared side to side and crossways we get this rail in there and then we build this second rail because this is two inch by three inch square tubing uh is what will keep it to be able to fit underneath this truck without hitting anything so we build a double frame rail there's two and frame rails do a double frame rail uh because we're using a two by three in the middle which is a smaller in the back we're using two by four so we just wanted to add more strength to the middle of the truck and to keep flex and twist and everything out of the truck so we used two rails four rails across the back of the truck in the middle to get it as strong and stable as possible then we put this little diagonal kicker over here to tie everything into the front frame rail to make everything sturdy. Uh, eventually, there will be exhaust going through the middle of these two frame rails, and on the other side, the exhaust will run down the middle of these rails. So the exhaust is actually gonna fit right in between here, guys. It's gonna go all the way straight down it. So I wanna say we put them like uh, five inches apart, right? Uh, yeah, I think five inch, six, six inches. Is it six inches? Six inches apart. So you can fit, you know, a three inch pipe um, in between there and have a little extra space and gap in between so you're not completely rubbing on anything or nothing like that. So this is what the frame rows look like. Once the... Here's what they tie into. See if y'all can get a good look. So we are doing this on the ground, guys, so it's a little hard to get good video. Doing the best we can here. See the double frame rails here. And that is the other side of where it was cut. What? And that, those fit into there. Once the frame rail comes out, it'll all get boxed up in the center. I mean, uh, where they tie together, the top will get trimmed and cleaned up and boxed. So it'll all be double plated and welded up uh, and it'll be pretty strong. But uh, this is basically, it's hard to video up under here, so we didn't really video. We just kind of did it without videoing it. All right, let's get to the back. Okay, we have uh, moved into the back now. So we've talked about the front. Uh, cutting the front, dropping that about two and a half inches, welding that back up. And uh, where the original frame rails come down, cut that open uh, so you can fit your new frame rail inside and we also talked about the four frame wells that we do have underneath uh, now let's talk about the back um, in the back basically we had to measure to figure out how high we needed to make the notch uh, we went through several different ways of doing it um, we did it basically two different sets of rails uh, till we got it how we wanted it here is uh, we measured the height of how it needed to be here where it needed to come down and we kind of drew a template the very first one that we made, everyone, um, one of the kickers going down actually was going to limit us on how much uh, fuel tank space we're going to have since the fuel tank is going to be in this area here. So we're, we had a little bit of issues there. So we had to kind of go back and re-engineer some things. And uh, today we're actually going to be welding up one to show y'all. This is the template that we made. So this is the side that is going to go towards the back of the vehicle. And this is going to be the top of the notch, the one of the down bars. And then this down bar here is going to be uh, one of the long kicker uh, bars. And this is a template that he kind of uses for all the other. Uh, this is basically a template just when you're doing a simple bag job that we use. And we've been using it for at least 10, 15 years. So we kind of just use it to start off with. And then we added more height to it 
added some width to it and then we kind of changed this bar instead of going down we'll come out here which helps locate the front bag mounts and this is overall what it looks like but let's go ahead and get one welded up we'll put it on the vehicle so y'all can check it out okay everyone we have the first frame rail that we did this is the bottom one and we have the uh the one that we're going to weld today uh to put it on the back so we could show y'all and we've already got the back half of it uh tacked in here here and here this is the side that goes to the uh rear of the vehicle and this is the part that goes to the uh, middle cross member and here we got it notched out so it fits directly on top of that uh, cross member so little E is going to come over here and uh, weld this up Now, he went ahead and welded half of them together here and back on this side. We're going to take them apart, let them cool down a second, and uh, put them on the back of the uh, Tahoe so y'all can check it out. All right. We got both monster notches in here. You can see that. We Right now, it's just placed in here. It's not actually welded. And you can see where the uh, that little notch that we took out sits right on top of that cross member to keep it level. And this is where the two link, I don't know, more than likely it's going to stay here. And it's going to get moved over. It's going to get moved over just a little bit? Yeah. Okay. And also we had to make enough clearance for the fitting here on the caliber. So we had to get one of the fittings, put it on there, make sure we have enough space for it. And... Uh, that's about it. I think that's going to wrap us up for today, everyone. This is what it looks like from this side. And the reason that this is such an aggressive angle is because the drive shaft alone is going to be coming up that far anyway. And also, it's going to be more clearance, uh, better clearance that way for the uh, bag mounts right on the two link. So, we're going to be positioning this back mount up over here so we can put the bag in all right all right everyone on the next episode we are actually going to be putting in the tooling bars the wishbone going to be welding all of this uh frame rails together what else we got left on that louis nice. wishbone the two link and the bag mounts rear cross member to hold there and tie everything together all right so that should be on the next episode wait for that one we're gonna be we should be recording that one next week so probably about another week or so and that one will be out and uh i think we're just buttoned up huh and it'll be about time to pull the frame out from underneath the truck that way we can weld everything up take a look at everything make sure everything is still where it needs to be and uh, get it powder coated huh uh, yeah soon soon we're pretty excited though. Everything seems like it's coming together pretty nicely.
All right, everyone, we're wrapping it up right now. For the two winners, George M, Chris underscore SS, get with me, DM me, and uh, I'll get you your merch, sizing, get all that stuff situated. And until next time, we'll gap you later.